Coleman, I'm 27. I work as a cooling systems engineer at Ford Motor Company in Dunton. I lead a global team on the design and development of new cooling systems on Ford vehicles. At Ford, the engineer is really the key person who leads everything and coordinates. My team is based all over the world. They work individually on one component and until they're put into the 3D environment and I review it, I don't know whether they're going to fit together. So we spend a lot of time talking to each other on the phone to make sure we all know what we're doing and we're all aligned. I like the fact that I have to deliver and I'm really lucky to have a fantastic team of people I work with. Once you've done the design, you need to take things and actually test them in reality. Down in the hydraulics rig, we're able to run the system and make sure it actually does achieve the performance objectives that it was designed for. At the end of the day, actually having the part in front of you is really cool to see it working and have that sense of achievement. I have a regular weekly meeting with other graduates and the committee member elected for STEM and charity outreach. So I work quite closely with a charity called the Small Peace Trust who work really hard to encourage young people to take up STEM careers. Getting into engineering was massively influenced by my parents. My mum works for civil engineers and my dad is an architect so I grew up in a really technical environment. I try and play netball at least once a week. Netball is quite a good parallel to engineering. It's a competitive environment where you have to have real awareness of other people in your team. It's really nice to play outside, get some fresh air, and also it's just really good fun. You try and do the right thing and give back, but winning the award would really validate that and give me the confidence to keep going. I'm Laurie Marshall, I'm 20 years old. I live and work in Stone, where I work for ABB and I'm an apprentice circuit engineer. I design the protection and control systems for high voltage substations in the UK, which transmit and distribute electricity. I use a CAD system, which allows me to design schematic and wiring diagrams, which uses the technical information which we provide to site. I go on site visits to be able to see the design that I'm designing in work sort of be brought to life and also to see all the equipment where it's physically placed. It, it can be a male dominated area and you do attract some looks. But I think it's important to just overcome that, get the job done that you're there to do. It makes you feel really proud to be designing something that people are gonna be using every day. So I attend Newcastle Underland College one day a week where I'm working towards a foundation degree in electrical engineering. Because of the tuition fees going off for my year group at school, I decided to look into apprenticeships. So I saw the opportunity for an open day with ABB and inspired me to apply for their apprenticeship programme. Even though I'm an apprentice, I'm an integral part of a project team and I get to work on multi-million pound projects. All the circuits on a project all interact with one another, so it's really important that we know where each other's at on each individual circuit. I met the MP Graham Evans at the House of Commons, an event where I was demonstrating a substation app. I feel privileged to have been able to go as an apprentice to represent my company. So I'm a member of the Stone Scott and Guy band. I joined the band when I was 10 years old and I really enjoyed it. For me it's an excuse to hang out with my friends. Winning this award would mean the world to me because it means that I'll be recognised as one of the best female engineers in the UK. My name is Lucy Ackland, I'm 27, I live in Gloucestershire, I work for Renishaw PLC as a project manager. I work in the research and development team helping to design and develop the next generation of metal 3D printer. If a customer has decided that they'd like to try and implement one of our 3D printing machines into their manufacturing process, they will come to us with the part that they'd like to manufacture, optimise that part in 3D printing, they can then decide whether it is something they want to implement. It brings along a number of benefits, 
One is that scrap is reduced because all waste material can be reused. So you can make things that aren't easily manufacturable using traditional manufacturing methods. You can really optimise your designs for strong structures and reducing weight. This is a new and exciting business and technology and I'm really proud to be a part of it. One thing we do regularly is design reviews. Men and women think about things in slightly different ways. So when you have a team that's made up of males and females, I often think that the problem solving is more effective. There are a number of female engineers that I admire. Hedy Lamarr, a 1940s film star who invented the theory behind Bluetooth and Mary Anderson, the inventor of the windscreen wiper. And I believe that the best way to encourage young people into engineering is not just to tell them about it, but to show them. They often come up to me and say that they're now really considering it as an option. Every Wednesday after work, I play badminton. It's good because it helps me maintain a work-life balance. I would love to become an ambassador for the IET in the coming year promote apprenticeships as a viable alternative to A-levels and university. I'm Jessica Bestwick, I'm 20 years old and I'm from Nottingham. I work for Rolls-Royce PLC in Derby as a higher technical apprentice. I spend four days a week at work at Rolls-Royce. I'm working on the bill of materials, which is a list of parts for a specific engine. This helps us to build and strip the engines and keep track of what hardware is in each engine. I need to be able to go down to the test beds and make sure that everything is there for all of the builders and fitters. In order to carry out the task, you need to be organised and also attention to detail to make sure that you're picking up all the tiny little nuts and bolts. It made me feel really good to see the systems actually working on the test. I also do some training at our Learning Career and Development Centre. I do training in the workshop. This includes skills such as milling, turning, CNC milling. This gives you a ground understanding of how the processes work. One day a week I go to Sheffield Hallam University where I'm studying towards my top-up degree to gain full BEng honours in mechanical engineering. The things that they teach you, you can see the practical application from work, but my degree qualification will allow me to move from being a development technician to a development engineer. I lead the Civil Engineering Apprentice Council. We look at ways to improve the apprenticeship. I think women have a different way of thinking. Many times things are thought about logically and I think women think outside of the box. After I finish work, I really like to combine socialising with my friends and family with my newfound love of baking, which has probably been inspired by the Great British Bake Off. I think it's calming, it's got a method to it, so it's methodical, but the best bit of all is getting to eat the cake at the end. <laughs> I'm 28 years old and I live in Edinburgh. I work as a senior hardware engineer for Celex ES. As a hardware engineer, I design electronics. So I work in laser warning systems which protect aircraft. In the system there is a sensor which acts as the eyes and a processor that acts as the brain and I design the electronics in this processor. Over the time I've been here I can see the design go from an idea on the back of a piece of paper to actually being in the lab so that I can test it. You often hear a stereotype that men are better at maths, but in engineering maths isn't what fixes the problem. You can go away and find a piece of software that will do the maths for you. What you need is the drive to go and fix a problem, and women have just as much of a drive as men. I actually spent all of my childhood in Italy and Coming from an international background, you learn how to speak to people from very different cultural backgrounds. And that, as a general skill, 
I think does help you in engineering. I'm always surprised at how much of my work involves dealing with people. And so being able to go up and chat to people, get along with them, find things in common has always been very useful in my work. I was recently in Salex's Wake Up to Engineering video. When people look at medicine as a career, they know that being a GP is different to being a nurse, which is different to being a surgeon. And what I want to show people is that engineering can have the same breadth. It's not one size fits all. One of the things I really enjoy is playing volleyball. I started playing at school in Italy, carried on at uni, and I now play for the Edinburgh Jets. I really enjoy how, how fast the games are. They're quite intense. You have to remain completely focused on where you need to be and where the ball is, what's going on. Winning the award would be absolutely fantastic, but to be honest, my colleagues would probably expect to cut, or at least for us to ramp up our Christmas decorations this year.